In today's video, we will talk about infertility through the eyes of traditional Chinese medicine. We already talked about how traditional Chinese medicine views a series of conditions like sleep, kidney and lung health, and many others. Have you watched any of these videos? Way before Western medicine was introduced in China, they had a series of practices and old techniques to treat health issues. The first register of this is in the Yellow Emperor's Book around 200 BC, which brings conceptions about human diseases, causes and treatments, and prescriptions about life. Did you know that according to the World Health Organization, 15% of couples in this world have trouble getting pregnant and receive the diagnosis of infertility? Infertility is the dysfunction in conceiving through sexual intercourse without using contraceptive methods during the first year. Did you know that getting pregnant isn't as easy as it seems? Even for couples without any fertility dysfunctions, the monthly chance of a fertile couple getting pregnant is around 15 to 25 percent. While sterility can't be solved, infertility has some alternative treatments. Today we will see how Chinese medicine and acupuncture can help with that. Infertility is multifactorial and involves both partners. Did you know that? The fertility curve lowers throughout the years. Today, couples have safe contraceptive methods that give them the power to choose the ideal moment for pregnancy. The search for professional specialization and financial stability before having children are other factors to postpone pregnancy. The age of conception is also relevant since the body grows old in general. Besides, fertility is also linked to lifestyle unbalanced diet, toxins, obesity, pesticides, stress, sleep changes, lack of exercise, drug abuse, alcohol and cigarette consumption, medications, excessive use of cell phones, computers, and other stimuli. For those who wish to have a baby, positive lifestyle changes are crucial. Enjoying the video? Then give it a like and share it with your friends to help the channel. And that's where TCM enters. For example, where Western medicine sees endometriosis or polycystic ovary syndrome, TCM sees blood stagnation or mucus. While the first uses ultrasound and blood tests, TCM examines pulse and tongue. Western medicine uses drug treatments. TCM uses natural acupuncture or phytotherapy techniques. Also, TCM treatments aim to directly solve the cause, not the symptoms or conditions, since when we solve the cause of a problem, the rest goes away. Amazing, right? If you and your partner are trying for a baby or are having trouble getting pregnant, talk to an expert in Chinese medicine or acupuncturist and follow their treatment recommendations. If you already know or have used Chinese medicine to improve your health, share your experiences with us. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. For more recipes and tips, subscribe to the channel.